Many years ago, I was at Lake Powell with some friends and we decided to do some cliff jumping. So we took the boat over to a area where there wasn't anyone else around and we were finding different cliffs to jump from. And as the day progressed, I became more and more brave and would climb higher and higher. And at one particular moment, a girlfriend and I decided to climb a cliff that was higher than anyone we had done earlier that day. And it was probably like 30 feet-ish, um, which for us was, was very high. And so we scramble up this cliff and we are standing there. And once we are there and looking down at the water, I'm thinking this was not a great idea. And maybe, maybe this one I don't want to jump from, but we had gotten ourselves into a situation where we, it was too dangerous to climb down. The only way off of this cliff was to jump. And um, we're terrified and we talk it out and we just resolve that we're going to have to jump and we're still terrified. And eventually my friend does get the courage and she jumps. I, on the other hand, am paralyzed by fear. Like intellectually, I know I am going to jump because I have to jump. And yet I can't seem to make my body do it. So I'm up there and getting all sweaty and nervous. And I mean, it's hot and you know, the beautiful red rocks are there, but I cannot appreciate any of that because I have to do this thing that is terrifying me. And at first, my friends in the boat are super encouraging, right? They're telling me I can do it and they are, um, you know, cheering me on and I'm still not doing it and they eventually lose patience. And then finally, they're like, yeah, so we're just going to leave you. And so the fear of being left alone um, was greater than the fear of jumping. And I eventually jump. Now, the jump was terrifying and awful, and I didn't like it at all. And I actually have not cliff jumped since then. However... I have thought about this moment many, many times in the, oh, at this point it's probably decades since I had that experience. And it, it comes back to me in moments where experientially I'm in a similar place, meaning intellectually I know what I need to do, but for whatever reason, I can't seem to make myself do it. And these are moments where I feel vulnerable and where fear is getting the, the best of me. And it can look like, you know, there have been moments where it's either been um, ending a relationship that I knew needed to end or starting a relationship that I wanted to start. Was I going to be brave enough to say I love you first? It looked like taking a, leaving a job that I was comfortable in, but wasn't serving me to try and do a, and move into a career change. It looked like being, um, an advocate in times when I might be the only one standing for something that I believe in those kinds of moments. I think, Oh, I'm back on that cliff again. I'm back on the cliff again, knowing what I need to do. And yet, for whatever reason, reason being finding it difficult to actually execute it. And remembering that moment, um, and even remembering the fact that the jumping from the cliff was unpleasant is actually helpful to me because I have now started saying to myself in those moments, you're going to jump. And it's going to suck. And acknowledging that does actually help me 
do the thing that I need to do. And sometimes it does suck. And sometimes it turns out it didn't. Um, and so that is just continues to be a moment of, for me, of the complexities of it is to navigate life and as a way to um, overcome those challenging moments and to show up in the world in the way that I need to. And it makes me think of this um, Jason Isbell song where he says, a lyric where he says, um, be afraid, be very afraid and do it anyway. And I really do try to be somebody who practices doing things anyway. <laughs>